This is a little bit different. I'm here at the Australia Pavilion. This is part of Shanghai World Expo 2010. There are 19 days left until the pavilion opens for real. But this is a sneak preview inside to see just what Australia is doing to represent itself on the world market. This is the entrance foyer. This is where aerial artists will perform on high wires up in the ceiling. And a little later, we're gonna get a tour inside to see what goes on on the ground. Like we're going under a spaceship. <laughs> <laughs> Being reboarded. Star Trek. <laughs> so this is the entrance to Act One. Yeah. Entering the Digi-Doo. How cool is this? As you make your way through the exhibition hall, there's loads to learn here. This is a part of Western Australia, Wave Rock, but it's also got loads of facts and figures telling you all about the comparisons between China and Australia. Did you know that there's 93 people per square kilometre in China? And only 2.8 in Australia? And 66% of Australians actually live by the sea, and only 7% of Chinese people actually live on the coastal area. And the fish are representing that. So I've just had a tour of the three different areas that make up this, the Australian Pavilion. It's a great insight into the background of Australia, the history and the people that make it up today. 40,000 people a day are going to come through this exhibition hall. A total of 400,000 people will come through the gates of the expo. It's going to be a massive event with over 40 million people visiting in the six month period. It's going to be a crazy place to come. If you get a chance, get yourself to Shanghai in the next six months and come and see why Australia is such a great place along with all the other countries that are represented here.